Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back at it again, Marine X here. I wanted to show you some of the most interesting, let's just say interesting, mini survival kits you can get in 2021. So first off, what is the purpose of a mini survival kit? It allows for quick use in camping, an emergency situation, everyday carry, EDC type stuff, Unlike the pre-built bigger bags, right? These are designed to be put in your, you know, fit every day within your life, put in your EDC. So you can put these in a laptop bag. You can put this in a backpack. You can keep it in a car, you keep it in the glove box, you know, slip it in your wife's purse, whatever. So these are the type of kits you might keep with you that you may not have your bug out kit near you. Another type of emergency kit with you. You have a mini survival kit that you can purchase, slip, keep one everywhere, right? So I want to talk about some that you might be interested in purchasing. Mini survival kits, they come in all sorts of sizes. They come all the way down to like the pocket Altoid size, which is really trendy nowadays. All the way up to these big old behemoth, almost a backpack <laughs> mini survival kit. You know, all, all the way in between. They got kinds that will clip you know, they have little carabiners built in already and you can clip it to your belt. The thing you got to remember about a mini survival kit is this is not your main source of survival. Well, some of these are robust enough where they could be, but these are kind of to supplement a bag that has nothing in it. Maybe it supplements a good home bag. Maybe it supplements a bug out bag. So I have these broken up from in different categories. I have the cheapest you can buy on Amazon, the most expensive you can buy on Amazon, what's trendy and what everybody's you're seeing on YouTube. And, you know, they might be useful. They might not. The brand name and then kind of just the generic that we see everywhere. So I wanted to get started with the generic. So what I mean by the generic is that there are dozens of kits on Amazon, which are right in this price range. This kit is $32. This kit's a little bit more cheesy to me because it literally says on the front of the box, one birthday gifts for man made in China, Lime Co survival kit. In case you were wondering, this is a birthday gift for men and it's really good for that apparently, right? But I wanted to buy this to show you for around that $32 marker. A lot of these kits are gonna be the same. This thing includes an emergency blanket. It has a flashlight. I don't even know if that flashlight is, you know, AA, AAA. Most of these kits that are kind of in this middle portion here, they all kind of include the same thing. I bet they're even made in the same factory. It does have the little fire starter. I don't know how robust or how good that will be. Has the tactical pin, which is really trendy nowadays. So one side of the pin is a glass breaker. The other side of the pin is a pin. You know, you can use that. It has a tactical spoon. You never know when you're gonna need a, you know, super unique looking spoon or anything like that. This thing's pretty, this thing feels pretty nice. It also has a built-in emergency whistle on one side. It's a spork on the other side. A weapon if you know how to use it. They give you a little paracord bracelet. So a little bit of serrated side here. It comes with a knife. I'm assuming this knife needs to be sharpened. It's a little flicker knife. It does have a nice flicking sound. It feels nice in the hand. It does need to be sharpened a little bit. Oh, it, it kind of gets the job done. It's not horrible. Yeah. It, I'll still sharpen it, but hey, if you don't have a knife, it's better than not having one at all. The other side has a seatbelt cutter, a glass breaker, so a multi-use, multi-purpose knife. This is one of these uh, wallet size emergency, you know, cards you can keep in your wallet. Most of these are TSA approved, so I, I have taken these through TSA checkpoints and had no issues. They did. They did search that bag, but this is more of an EDC type of tool, you know, so it includes a ruler. It has a flathead screwdriver, has a bottle opener. You know, some of these have the adapted sockets inside of it. This one, not so much, doesn't have that socket inside, but just different tools on one tool that you can use. You, you just keep this in your wallet. And this is the first one I've seen that includes a little bit of cord to it, a little nylon that you can use. It's a little fishing kit, a carabiner, which seems really bad. This does not seem like a good carabiner at all. 
and one of these saws where you could, I guess, apparently be Paul Bunyan and, you know, chop limbs if you really needed to. So you can take the awesome fire starter and start a fire. You know, that's the type of stuff that's kind of gonna be in those kits that have that $30 range. Staying with the Amazon theme, this is the cheapest kit on Amazon. So the kit we just looked at was about $32. This kit is $12.99. So when you search mini survival kits on Amazon, there's a few of them that are cheaper, but they're really just medical kits. This is the cheapest one, which has like a survival S type items inside. This is called the Top Lander Outdoor Survival Kit. And let's bring it in a little bit, see if you can see it a little bit better. It has a few little items in it. It does have a multi-tool. Once again, I like to just, I like to think of it in the, in the concept, if you don't own a multi-tool, they're giving you one. So they call this a folding pliers. The folding pliers include a saw, a bottle opener, it has a light. I don't even know how this light functioned, but there's a light on this side here. Um, I don't know how that thing powers up, but it has a light. That's unique, right? Has a knife, has a Phillips head screwdriver, slotted screwdriver. So that's pretty cool. This carabiner actually feels more robust than the carabiner for the $32 kit that we just looked at, but I still wouldn't trust this to even carry my car keys but it includes a carabiner. So if you just want something simple to maybe hang while you're camping or something like that, got your emergency whistle. Fire starter, I don't know why they, how these kits include these fire starters, like you're really gonna be out here starting fires. I, I guess in theory, you could be. This is a compass which seems to not be working. Yeah, this compass is definitely not accurate. Maybe it's because it's still in the plastic. Let me let me pull it out. Okay. So just for reference, north is about is behind me over my right shoulder. So as you're looking at me, it looks like my left shoulder. So north is over that direction. And so it's not really working because north is kind of that way and it's not really but hey it's a compass i guess this seems to be the exact same saw that was in the other kit so you can chop up some some trees i guess this is another one of those credit card tools so this thing, these tools, I mean, these th these things are pretty cool, man. You know, they really do have 11 functions, 12 functions in one. If you can just figure out how the heck to use them. They got the bottle openers and a wrench and a saw and a ruler. And they, they got a, almost everything you need, a flathead screwdriver. They also give you some pretty sweet stickers, SOS stickers, some X-Tool stickers. So for $12.99, if you just want to have something, I mean, just absolutely something, a baseline starter, $12.99. You see what you can get for $12.99 on Amazon. Next, we go with the brand name. So this is the brand name because it's Mossy Oak. So if you're used to going to Dick's, you're used to going to Academy Out Sports and Outdoors, stuff like that, you've seen the name Mossy Oak. So if you're a layman, you're not really into survival, you wanna get a survival kit for yourself, maybe for your kids, your teenager, they're going off to college, something like that. So you decide, I'm gonna go buy a name brand, something I've heard of before. This may or may not be the kit for you. It includes a notebook, it's a little field notebook. This kit is $19.99. So it looks like it's including, you know, once again, that saw tool, if you wanna do some branches. Let me see. This is a pretty sweet box cutter I picked up by Special Ops. They make some really good tools. I'll link this up below. It feels like a knife. It works like a flicker knife, but it's a box cutter. You load up little box cutter blades in there. So I like this thing. This thing's pretty nice. So here. I guess if you're gonna keep it as a kit, you would leave this plastic tray in here 
and this tool is a spoon it is a pocket knife this pocket knife looks freaking sharp right out the box i will give you that mossy oak that seems pretty seems pretty nice what else we got in here got a fork okay and i think that's it and a spoon obviously so you have a knife but not a butter knife like a knife knife a fork and a spoon so okay I'll give you that traditional fold so there's no safety to keep that out and keep it clamping down on your kiddo's hand not a big fan of that The other side of the kit includes, let's pull this out. It includes a fire starter, which I just, I don't know. These, so many of these kits include these fire starters. Like that's gonna be the first thing you do in an emergency situation, which it might be, but for me, most emergency situations, the first thing I'm trying to do is get home, but you know whatever at least you got it it's a little bit of paracord this is not as tightly wrapped as some of the paracord bracelets you get so when you unwrap this this is not going to be tons and tons of paracord but they do give you some this is a you know a swiss army type knife so this is a seven in one function type multi-tool pocket knife includes a wine cork has a knife a traditional knife on it has a uh phillips head i mean it's it's a seven in one knife this is actually this is kind of nice you can clip it to your keys so if you don't want to keep it in the kit they also give you a flashlight and let's see what is this thing rocking with all right so it's these little dorky batteries that you're gonna just always make sure you keep them stocked i mean i'll hook that up later and see see how bright that is but the mossy oak you've heard of mossy oak before 1999 you see what kind of what kind of kit you can get from mossy oak all right so this is what's trendy right now so a lot of folks you know, they're really big into DIY Alto, Altoid survival kits. So you get an Altoid, some Altoids, you eat all the Altoids. And then you make a survival kit out of it. Yay. This really is like an EDC size kit because it can fit in your pocket. This one is the Essie, Essie's Knives. Uh, Essie makes some pretty good knives. Uh, mini, mini kit is $32.99. It includes... You know some pretty nice items a little bit next level than that cheaper 12.99 kit so these are the actual like tender tabs so this is the first you know little kit where they're not just giving you the ferro rod they're actually giving you a little bit of tinder to start a fire this is a little snare so if you need to make a snare to try to catch a, a little baby bunny maybe a squirrel right Got your little snare wire in here. It includes a bright strike light and with the 3M on the back, which is pretty nice. This is a fishing set. Has some nice hooks here. And nice line. Looks like they give you a pretty good chunky amount of line in here, fishing line. This is the actual striker set, so you can get that fire going once you get your tinder out the box. They give you more of a button style compass. This compass is functioning properly. It's is showing me directly where north is, which is a good thing. They also give you a really compact signal mirror. This is a signal mirror inside of this bag. What is this thing? A nice little razor blade knife. So they're known for their knives. That looks, I'm not even gonna touch that. I can just tell that bad boy is sharp. And then the very bottom of it, it's their branding. This is a nice little kit, $32.99. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can put something together a little bit similar 
but you're probably, you know, other than the cheap price of an Altoy kit, you may not be able to find these, this variety of items for, you know, 30 something bucks. So this might be a good purchase. Another kits that have been really tri trendy lately is these vessels, the VSSL company. Um, they make these mini survival tubes and then the regular survival kits. All of their kits for the most part have a compass on the top. So you can see north, south, east, west. It's a little concerning that the compasses aren't both pointing to north. I don't know, maybe maybe it's just how I'm holding them or something like that. But, you know, I opted to get the regular size kit and also to get a mini kit as well. So the kits themselves are full of survival items that are all of the same size fit in the kit. It's made of metal, so it's pretty nice. Uh, here you can long press the bottom, has a really pretty bright flashlight on the bottom. It has different modes for that flashlight. Red, flashing, SOS. The flashlights included on the bottom, they're interchangeable. So if I want to change this out and I want to put this silver flashlight on, I can change these right out. I can access the emergency items from the bottom or from the top. So I open this up and I take the compass off, set that to the side. And each of these little kit items, you know, they mark they tell you exactly what's in here so this is trail marking or repair or first aid tape whatever you want to use it for they also give you fishing you know this is a fishing little tactical fishing box here you can open it up and inside if i can get in here whole little fishing kit in here so you have a lures yeah, some some jigs. So we got some fishing line. So without opening up all these, just showing you the outside. You have a. Uh, they tell you exactly what's in it. So that way, if you're wondering, okay, well, what's in that box? This one has the a wire saw, and you can put these together DIY style, or you can buy them pre-made. I think I just bought the pre-made kits. This one here is miscellaneous gear, four hour candle, some rope, razor blades. And this, this whole thing is just full of, keeps going. Let's see what else we got. Right. Oh, it's still going. All right, look at this. I mean, this is just all from one of the tubes. This is the regular size tube. You know, this larger kit here is $129. This mini kit is $99. Is it worth it? I mean, it might be something you might be interested in. It may not be. It's really going to be up to you. They go in. They go back in pretty easy. Look at that. Just kind of plopping these bad boys in here. Boom. Just like that. It's all the way back together. So I will say for putting the kit back together, this is pretty fast. The mini kit bought this as well, so you can just check it out. I like the fact that it has a built-in carabiner, so you can clip this to the outside of a bag. You can clip this to a pair of 511 type pants or whatever. Um, same thing, same concept on the inside. It has the, the survival items on the inside. I'm not gonna push all these out. These kits have some of the same things. I think I wanted variety, so this one has fire starter. That one have, may have a little bit of different items inside. All right, so this next one here is the SE Mess 10. So it's made by the same company that makes this little Altoid size mini kit here. The bigger Mess 10, it comes with this Molly style pack. So you can attach this to the outside of the bag. This is one of the first ones that's starting to get into the world. It looks a little bit more tactical. So this kit, I actually kind of like this kit. Um, I will say this one is in the category of one of the most expensive on Amazon. It's not the most expensive. That's the next one we have here. This kit's $199. It is in a mess can type kit. So it gives me a lot of military vibes. This reminds me of the, the type of can that my grandfather used in Vietnam. He still has a piece of cornbread from Vietnam in one of, the, one of those cans. He hasn't opened and we're not going to open it. It's probably pretty, pretty ratchet. 
Looking on the outside of the kit, as soon as you open it up, you see the emergency survival blanket. It's 48 inches by 84 inches. Hopefully it's reusable. I'm not gonna rip this thing open right now, but I mean, look at the little guy on the back. He looks pretty warm, right? It's all wrapped up and warm and survival-y and seems like life is gonna be good for him. The mess kit itself comes with this little bit of rubber, kind of keeps it from moving around. It also keeps the kit closed. Take this off. So it's well, I will say they keep it nice and closed. They, uh, the kit itself, it's well packaged. Hopefully I can get everything back in here as good as they have everything in here. Just looking at it from the top down. You see the little Etsy brand symbol on the outside of the kit lets you know, hey, Etsy, we put this thing together. We're pretty badass, the whole nine yards. So it looks like it does have some pretty quality tools just looking at it from the top down. It includes an Etsy knife, right? They make some really good knives. It looks like it has a compass in here. It has a hiker knife. It has some mess tin and some map cards, professional grade items. The whole thing is about one pound. It's six inches by four inches in height and about two, or excuse me, four inches in length and about two and a half inches in height. So let's check this thing out. So right on the top, I can see their knife, which is included. This knife is, a. Uh, I know it feels pretty good. This is their Kandiri knife, Kandaroo knife. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. They are known for knives. This knife feels like it is ready to rock right yeah this thing is ready to rock right out of the box so that is definitely a plus i would expect something like that in a kit that's costing you 200 dollars looks like some little water storage pouches they provide and they're banded together with some rubber bands let's wrap these bad boys back up so here is one of those you know, multi use type knives. I don't know if this is a seven in one, an 11 in one, but they do give you more of a camper style knife. So they give you their premium knife here. And then this is more of a pocket style camper type knife. So you got the knife here, it has a little bottle opener. I see uh, some flat heads. I see a saw. It's pretty cool. This is something I would use. I would definitely keep this. I think I would just keep this as an EDC. Continuing with the kit itself, this is a premium fire starter. So we've seen these other kits with these little fire starters. So compared to this fire starter, you know, the magnesium in the, the one in my left hand here with the SC kit feels more premium than this little $32 kit. I'm pretty sure they both stark strike and make a little fire, but I think I will want to have something a little bit more premium. That feels pretty good. So some actual fire tinder, and they give you about 10 of these. So these things burn pretty long. And then you can also submerge them in water and they can still continue to work. They give you some potable water tablets. You put two of these in a quart of water and it's going to, you shake it up, you wait about five minutes. It's gonna kill most of the bacteria in that water, 99.9% .9 of the things in that water that will kill you. So it's kind of nice to have them, they provide that for you. They give you the safety matches. So the safety matches with the striker on the bottom. So they give you a nice amount of uh, safety matches just in case you don't wanna deal with the, and it also has a striker on the top. If you don't wanna deal with the fire starter, I would imagine it might even have a striker on the inside. Some more of that snare wire so you can catch you some bunnies. This is just some cordage that you can use, not 550 style. So you have your emergency whistle. You also have your duct tape or your, you know, your type of tape that duck style tape doesn't have, it's not that much adhesive on the side. So you don't have to worry about this getting all over the place, which I kind of like, but it does have, um, it is definitely some duct tape. Once again, another one of these uh, bright strike little lights. So you hang this up on something, you have the light, the light will constantly be blinking, whatever you want to use that for. They give you two of these, both of them are in green. This is a more robust style compass so that you can do a little bit more navigation versus just simply 
uh, having north, south, east, west. This one has more degrees. So if you needed to shoot an azimuth or if you needed to actually try to do some navigating, this is a better compass for that. It has a signal mirror in here, emergency signal mirror, which is pretty bright. This thing is catching all the light here for all of that. This is a really nice navigation style pack. So this is for from the School of Survival, from Randall School of Survival. So they give you an entire kit to help you, you know, use the compass properly. How do you shoot an azimuth? Then they actually have the little survival book itself. And you can take notes inside of this thing. So wherever you if say, imagine you shoot an azimuth or if you're using a compass and you walk so many yards or so many paces, you can write that down in here. They have another little survival tin. It's about the same size as the Altoid tin earlier. This is a survival fishing kit. I'm not even gonna open that up, but this is a fishing kit, so you can kinda understand what that is. Here is a bunch of cards that give you advice on how to do stuff. So building fire, gathering water, how, to, uh, per, how do you uh, face paint yourself if you need to do face paint. Just different survival cards, which is a really good idea. All right, so we have a little bit more banding you can use here, which would be good for signal, uh, signaling rescuers. And they give you a needle in here. So you can use this for, you can use some of that fishing line with this, some of the cordage with this. You never know when you might need some needles. That's nice to have as well. So this kit definitely is full of premium grade A, grade A materials. It is a reason why it's a $200 kit. This is the ACW mini survival kit. It's $226. It's the most expensive kit on Amazon. It has over 175 items in it. It has so many items that it provides a key for you. So that way you know when you rip this bad boy open exactly where to go for the item that you may or may not want. They call it the MacGyver pack because it is a MacGyver, I guess, type pack type system. But it has a lot of things in here. I'm going to open it up and I'm not going to go over everything. I'm just going to read from the card the type of items that you're going to see in here. Balloons, whistle, field manual, tube, 18 gauge wire, surgical mask, large bag, a foil space, sleeping, sleeping shelter, hot glue. They got golf tees in here, medical kit cork it's a lot of stuff in here okay so, so the outside of the bag is that traditional molly style bag you know you can clip other things to it you can put a sweet sticker to on it which of course i'm gonna do that right now got the marine corps sticker on there this thing is a uh, so it's a quick rip, rip away feature which i like in a bag so meaning that if you have this part of the bag attached to another bag then for an emergency situation if you need this bag then the entire system will whip away. I got to take this little clip off, but this entire system will rip away from whatever bag it's attached to so you can quickly access the bag. Like my bags, especially my medical kits that have that type of functionality. It's always a good thing. So let's just open it up. Just take an overall look at the kit. how big this thing is. I mean, it's almost, let's just zoom out a little bit. It's, all, it's out of the camera shot. I mean, now we're all, you can even see the other items we were just looking at. This thing goes all the way down here. We can zoom out a little bit more just to see the whole kit. It takes up almost the, the entire middle of my table. So this thing has a lot of items in it. Let's bring it back in a little bit closer so you can see. I mean, I'm seeing right here at the top, you got a little chapstick, a golf tee, some hot glue, a pencil, some playing cards, mini playing cards. Look at these the baby mini playing cards here. Keep your, your mind occupied in a survival situation, right? So it has stuff everywhere. Folds out, more items over here. It's well organized. Of course, you would definitely need to use your legend to help you get around this bag. But this bag, I don't know if the items are premium. You know, I would have to open it up and take a look at all the items to see if, if what they're providing you are premium type items. But I will say the packing and the layout is really premium. 
I see zip cords. I do see that 18 gauge wire. What is this? More playing cards in here. There's some chem lights in here for safety or signaling purposes. They give you a toothbrush, a straw, some surgical masks. They give you a little identification lens, magnifying lens rather. This is a magnifying lens. That's pretty, I've never seen a survival kit with a magnifying lens. That's something different. Of course, one of those Paul Bunyan, you know, Paul Bunyan chops down trees. Maybe you're gonna saw down some limbs. They provide that. that, that feels a little bit more premium than some of the other kits we were looking at. I see a uh, multi-tool, what, look at this, this is different. Not only is it a multi-tool, but they also give you some bits that you can use. So somewhere in here, I'm assuming is a bit holder and you can use this to drive different bits, I see some you know, um, Allen type or some hex type, some slotted, some Phillips heads. Here's the bit holder itself. That's different. I haven't seen that before in a kit. I kind of like that. Never know when you're going to need to drive a fastener, I guess. So they give you a, the ability to do that. 550 cord. See some emergency blankets, a field manual. Yeah, this is a this is definitely a high 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 premium kit. And if you're willing to spend the money, you know, you're willing to spend the 200 over $200 for this kit, you see the type of items you're going to be getting. You got some tweezers in here, surgical blade which they have packaged neatly in here. This this entire area is full of even more stuff underneath that that I haven't even got into yet and then you have the whole bottom portion which feels like it's mostly medical supplies it is so that's smart the entire bottom of the kit is medical related and it flops open so you know that if you're in this part of the kit you're looking for something that's medical i see saline in here i see stop bleed agent this is a that's that's pretty unique it's pretty nice for a mini survival kit for a kit that you know, you're going to be using, you want to keep everywhere. This might be a kit for you where you know that if you purchase this kit, you keep this kit. Let me put the legend inside so I can know exactly how to navigate it. But you purchase this kit and you keep this kit amongst your bag or if you keep it in your car, it has a lot of items in here that's going to be helpful. It doesn't obviously have water in here. I don't even really see the ability to gather water and filter it, not without reading the legend, but it has quite a few things in here for survival. So this might be something that you might be interested in. I mean, but tell me, would you get any of these kits? Is a mini survival kit something you're not even interested in? And if you're liking this video, make sure you hit that like button and you subscribe and pass it along. Let it let leave a comment below. You know, let other folks know that you like the video and YouTube know you like the video. And we like doing stuff like this all the time. We talk about man cave stuff, survival stuff. What are you going to do when the SHTF type things happen in the world? In the meantime, thanks for coming back and I will speak to y'all soon. I'll let you.